In the Shadow of Little Rock is a film about a civil rights activist by the name of Daisy Bates who was instrumental in desegregating Central High School in 1957. She was a woman who was ahead of her time. She's a woman who didn't really fit within the not only the time period but within the culture and the society she was born in. It's also a film about people who are left out of the history books. Uh, somebody who's poor, somebody who was uneducated, somebody who was a woman in a, in a, in a man's culture, even among the civil rights culture. It was, a man, it was a men's culture in terms of leadership, although women did the work. And she's a woman who had the guts at that point to stand up and be a leader and, uh, and, and pay the price for it. I mean, there's a lot of other avenues now, certainly more than when I started this process as far as where it could air, but I think it, the best fit is PBS and a PBS audience. I think that's the audience that would probably most appreciate a film of this kind. We were excited to have this film, to be working with PBS to get this film on television, because PBS picks films because they respond to them, because they're good, or because they mean something, or they resonate somehow. Not necessarily in terms of the idea of how much money it's gonna make, what the business is gonna do, or those kind of, or who's gonna lose their job if the film doesn't do well. You know, PBS is, is about the work.